So here's the picture. Now, of course, we need to align the um, music. So first thing I'm going to import is the audio. Uh, so import audio files. Here we go. Uh, so these would be all the stems that we've printed out of, in my case, out of Cubase. And again, naming scheme, very important. You always want to know what's in there. Um, you can print them as detailed as I have, but you don't have to. Some composers also will just print all the brass and all the winds and all the for recording purposes and then split them out for mixing later. I just do it immediately because I don't want to be bothered with printing stems twice because it's, I mean, with Cubase 11, it's not that big of a deal, but still. So these are printed out of Cubase. I have them here. All the team members do that or an assistant is going to do that. And be sure to copy files because you want them copied over into the audio folder of Pro Tools because you're going to send out these sessions. If you just click on add files, it's just going to reference them from wherever they are on your hard drive, but they don't get sent to the scoring stage. Click on done. It'll automatically copy them into the um, audio folder. There you go. And then I import them into the clip list, which is, let's get that over here. The clip list is over here. There you can see all of them. And make sure you're still in spot mode. And now when you drag in the files, it'll automatically create all the tracks that you need, but also it'll once again create this thing. And so you see we have the time code printed into the file name. It's 2000306. Or if you've done it right, You've already had the right time code in your DAW in Logic or in Cubase, and the um, timestamp is printed into the stem. So here you can see it already has that timestamp in there, 02000306. So I can just click on this little arrow right here, and it'll copy it up there. Click OK, and now there it is, all lined up already to where it needs to go in the picture.